In a surprising turn of events, Toyota has announced its ambitious plan to begin producing electric vehicles in the United States by 2025. This move marks a significant shift for the automaker, which has historically been skeptical about the viability and future of EVs. Known for its pioneering work with hybrid technology, Toyota's commitment to electrification signals a new direction for the company. In this video, we'll delve into Toyota's comprehensive plan, explore the reasons behind its dramatic change of heart, and discuss what this means for the future of the automotive industry. We'll also look at the exciting developments and innovations Toyota has in store for the coming years. So, stick around to find out! Toyota's EV Stance Toyota has been a leader in the automotive industry known for its innovation and reliability. However, when it comes to electric vehicles, the company has been reluctant. Toyota initially focused on hybrid technology like the Prius, which was launched in the late 1990s instead of fully electric cars. The company was concerned about battery technology, infrastructure, and whether consumers were ready for EVs. Toyota believed hybrids and hydrogen fuel cells were better options for reducing emissions. While companies like Tesla pushed ahead with EVs, Toyota stayed focused on hybrids and hydrogen. But as global demand for zero-emission vehicles continued to grow and environmental regulations continued to tighten, Toyota had to reconsider its strategy. Advances in battery technology and better EV infrastructure are making fully electric vehicles more appealing. Toyota realized it's risking to lose a market share to competitors expanding their EV offerings. So, they decided it was time to pivot. The company's new CEO, Koji Sato, has been a vocal proponent of accelerating Toyota's electrification efforts. And now, Toyota has announced its plan to triple EV production by 2025 and invest heavily in battery technology and manufacturing facilities in the U.S. The New Production Target Toyota's ambitious goal involves increasing output from 190,000 units in 2024 to a staggering 600,000 units in 2025. This significant leap is a clear indicator of Toyota's renewed commitment to electrification and its determination to capture a larger share of the rapidly expanding EV market. By 2026, Toyota aims to sell 1 million EVs annually a significant target that underscores the company's accelerated push into the electric vehicle market. Looking further ahead, Toyota has an even more ambitious long-term vision to sell 3.5 million EVs annually by the end of the decade. This target aligns with global trends towards decarbonization and reflects Toyota's commitment to reducing its carbon footprint. Achieving this goal will require continued investment in EV technology expansion of production facilities, and a robust strategy to capture market share from competitors. To support these sales targets, Toyota is making substantial investments in its manufacturing infrastructure. The company is updating existing factories and building new ones dedicated to EV production. New Battery Plant in North Carolina Toyota's new battery plant in North Carolina represents a substantial investment in the company's electrification strategy with a commitment of $3.8 billion. This facility is a cornerstone of Toyota's plan to support its growing lineup of electric vehicles (EVs) and ensure a steady supply of high-quality batteries. The $3.8 billion funding will be used to construct and equip the facility with state-of-the-art technology to produce lithium-ion batteries. These batteries will power Toyota's expanding range of electrified vehicles, including the new BZ Compact SUV and other models planned for release over the next few years. The operational timeline for the North Carolina battery plant is ambitious, with production expected to begin in 2025, aligning with Toyota's broader goals for EV production ramp-up. Initially, the plant will focus on producing batteries for hybrid electric vehicles (HEVs) and battery electric vehicles BEVs, with six production lines, four dedicated to HEVs and two for BEVs. This setup will allow Toyota to maintain flexibility in its production capabilities and adapt to changing market demands. The integration of this battery plant into Toyota's supply chain will ensure a reliable source of high-quality batteries, reducing dependency on external suppliers 
and mitigating potential supply chain disruptions. Toyota is also working on a new assembly plant in Kentucky. Now, if you're still with us this far, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more such videos. Thank you! New Assembly Facility in Kentucky Moving on, Toyota's decision to establish a new assembly facility for electric vehicles in Kentucky is a strategic move that reflects the company's broader commitment to electrification. This location was chosen for several compelling reasons, each contributing to the success of Toyota's ambitious EV production goals. Kentucky offers a strategic advantage due to its central location within the United States. This centrality provides logistical benefits, enabling efficient distribution of vehicles across the country. The state's well-developed infrastructure, including its extensive network of highways and proximity to major rail hubs, facilitates smooth transportation of both components and finished vehicles. Additionally, Kentucky has a robust manufacturing history and a skilled workforce, experience in automotive production, which Toyota can leverage to streamline its operations. Rather than building entirely new facilities from the ground up, Toyota plans to retrofit its existing plant in Georgetown, Kentucky. This plant, already a cornerstone of Toyota's manufacturing operations in the U.S., will undergo significant upgrades to accommodate the production of electric vehicles. These upgrades will include installing new equipment and assembly lines specifically designed for EV manufacturing, ensuring that the facility meets the latest standards and technological requirements. Toyota's goal for the Kentucky facility is ambitious, as the company aims to produce 10,000 electric SUVs per month by the end of 2025. The focus on producing electric SUVs aligns with market trends and consumer preferences. SUVs remain one of the most popular vehicle segments in the U.S., and Toyota's decision to prioritize this category for its EV production reflects a strategic understanding of market demand. By producing electric SUVs, Toyota aims to attract a broad customer base, including those who might be new to electric vehicles but are drawn to the practicality and appeal of SUVs. The BZ Compact SUV The BZ Compact SUV is one of Toyota's latest entries into the electric vehicle market designed to expand the company's BZ Beyond Zero lineup. This compact SUV is set to offer a more affordable and accessible option for consumers looking to switch to electric driving. Smaller and cheaper than the existing BZ4X crossover, the BZ Compact SUV aims to attract a broader audience. The design of the BZ Compact SUV is both futuristic and practical. It features sleek lines and a modern aesthetic that appeals to urban drivers and young professionals. Inside, the vehicle is equipped with advanced technology, including an in-car assistant named Yui, designed to enhance the driving experience by connecting passengers to the vehicle's systems and functions seamlessly. This AI-driven feature is part of Toyota's effort to integrate cutting-edge technology into its vehicles, making them not only environmentally friendly, but also highly interactive and user-friendly. Positioned as a smaller and more affordable alternative to the BZ4X, the BZ Compact SUV is expected to attract budget-conscious buyers who still want the benefits of driving an electric vehicle. This strategic positioning helps Toyota cater to different market segments, from those looking for a premium EV experience to those who are making their first foray into electric driving. By offering a range of prices and features, Toyota aims to remain competitive in the growing EV market and provide options that meet diverse consumer needs and compete with industry giants. Competition with Tesla In the current market landscape, Tesla remains the dominant player in the electric vehicle sector. Known for its innovation, extensive range of models, and strong brand loyalty, Tesla has set high standards in the industry. The company sold 1.8 million EVs in 2023 and continues to lead with advanced technology, efficient production methods, and a robust charging infrastructure. Tesla's influence has prompted many traditional automakers, including Toyota, to accelerate their EV strategies. To compete with Tesla, Toyota is launching an ambitious new EV lineup. This includes a variety of models designed to cater to different segments of the market. Key among these is the three-row electric SUV 
set to be produced in Kentucky and the more affordable BZ Compact SUV. These models highlight Toyota's strategy to offer a range of EVs that combine practicality with advanced features, aiming to attract a broader customer base. Toyota is leveraging its expertise in hybrid technology and its strong reputation for reliability to appeal to consumers considering switching to electric vehicles. Customer acquisition strategies will play a crucial role in Toyota's efforts to compete with Tesla. Toyota plans to leverage its extensive dealership network to provide a superior buying and servicing experience. Additionally, the company is focusing on affordability, ensuring that its EVs are priced competitively to attract cost-conscious consumers. By moving its production to Kentucky and North Carolina, Toyota aims to present itself as eligible for government incentives in the U.S. Government Incentives The U.S. government offers various incentives to promote the production and adoption of electric vehicles, aiming to reduce carbon emissions and foster a sustainable automotive industry. These incentives include federal tax credits, grants, and subsidies that lower the cost of EV production and make electric vehicles more affordable for consumers. The federal tax credit, for instance, provides up to $7,500 for the purchase of a new EV, significantly reducing the upfront cost for buyers. Additionally, various state-level incentives such as rebates, tax credits, and access to carpool lanes further encourage EV adoption. The impact of these government incentives on demand and market dynamics is substantial. These incentives boost sales and accelerate the transition from traditional internal combustion engine vehicles to electric ones by making EVs more financially attractive to consumers. Increased demand for EVs drives automakers to ramp up production, invest in new technologies, and expand their EV offerings. This shift also stimulates competition within the automotive industry, encouraging innovation and the development of more efficient and affordable electric vehicles. Toyota has strategically positioned itself to leverage these government incentives as part of its broader electrification strategy. The company's decision to produce EVs in the U.S., including the new electric SUV at its Kentucky plant and batteries at its North Carolina facility, aligns with efforts to benefit from federal and state incentives. By manufacturing locally, Toyota also not only reduces transportation costs but also ensures eligibility for various tax credits and subsidies designed to boost domestic EV production. By aligning its operations with government initiatives, Toyota can better meet regulatory requirements and capitalize on financial incentives to reduce production costs. So, what do you think about Toyota's sudden shift to electric vehicles? We're eager to know your thoughts, so let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, thanks for watching.